Well, the infrastructure is really hurting, and it's part of why I want to build that tax base. I want to help education is absolutely important. Make sure the money gets there and that it's used for what it's supposed to use for. Um, we also have to give an incentive for the nonprofits to locate elsewhere. I mean, Hagerstown did the same model as here. Let's get the nonprofits, let's get the government agencies in here, and then the private sector leaves, and you have a third of the property tax in Baltimore isn't being paid because it's charitable and nonprofits. Okay, I mean, it's not that I want to hurt the nonprofits, but Baltimore City needs a tax base. And so when I talk about growing a tax base, that property tax is part of it. A lot of that goes to education. Um, we have to do that. Getting the import-export businesses and the manufacturing to Baltimore, I'm going to concentrate on Baltimore. We have to. And to get the rest of the state behind it, I've expressed to them how this will help them keep more money home. Every year, we're sending more money to Baltimore than the year before. And it's become a huge drain on the whole state, but it's hurting Baltimore most. Build a tax base here that helps Baltimore first, you know, and slowly be able to let the other people, other jurisdictions keep more of their money home because we've pushed pension costs and everything back on them without offering any answers. Um, that's part of it. Uh, Baltimore City. Um, those children's zones and the education things are so important to me, and I think there's a way to do that. I think it's a tremendous model that's been proven to work. And like I said, I work the inner cities with runaways and pushouts. I was wor working with the kids on the street. I was working with kids that dropped out of high school. Pushouts, uh, people have asked me, what are pushouts? You know, I, I'd be counseling a girl who's on her, I, she, she, she was approached by her mother's boyfriend. You know, she complains to her mother, and the mother kicks her out of the house. You don't want to compete with the daughter. People don't understand how, how things have crumbled so much. We need to bring that back. Uh, we need mentoring programs in the city also. We have to help these youth. I, I, I think the measure of the success of my years as governor will be the economy coming back, but it'll also be what I did to turn this around for Baltimore City and for those people that are suffering. You mentioned infrastructure. Is that yes, sir. the red line? Do you support the red line? Yeah, but you can't do that first. Like I said, if it's going to put a big tax, more tax on businesses, and it's going to frustrate that growth to increase that tax base, i got to get the tax base in place first, and then we get there. Okay. Uh, your platform also says that you would repeal the gas tax increase and would only use gas tax revenue for roads and bridges. Is that right? Yeah, that, well, that's part of what I mean first. We put that to that first because uh, that infrastructure for the roads and bridges in and, 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 and Baltimore and everything, it needs to be done. And it also means what's under the roads. <laughs> you know, we have things that really need replacement and things, and that, that's essential. I mean, Baltimore should be an economic engine for the whole state, and I think we can get it back there. So, so you oppose putting any new money into transit? Of any kind? I think what we do is we change the model and we try to find ways that they can turn a profit of some kind, even no matter how small. Um, I'm not against transit. I would concentrate in those areas where the elderly are and people need to get around, uh, probably redirect it, and make a business model out of it that's going to work. I want to get there, but we can't get to these things first without totally crumbling, increasing that tax base. We need to increase the tax base or we don't get any worse. So we need to do those things first. We're behind on roads and bridges in this state. We seem to be reactive when there's an absolute need for it. We should be 10 years ahead proactive. And I think we've got to do that. And once we're doing that, then we can talk about all these other things. I'm not against that. You know, but I, you know what I would do, though, is I would put together a plan to get there. It would be part of my plan. I'm not saying I'm against it. I'm not going to put it in there. Our transportation plans are almost, or what is it, every six years? I mean, so every time they come up with the plans for the next six years, you know, we, we, we've got to incorporate it in a way that's workable to get there. Maryland is so ripe. I don't think people understand how we can really increase uh, what, how much we, we are, our tax base. I really mean that. We can increase it. When I talk about tax cuts, it's always in terms of increasing the tax base. Everything is in terms of creating more revenue so we can get to where we need to get to. We have not done that the past eight years, and it's not just the economy. The other states have done much better.